Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle House. Today we are going to be talking about the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. This palette is the latest fresh release that everybody is talking about. If you don't know who Huda Beauty is, she is the most popular beauty blogger turned businesswoman on Instagram. I believe she has somewhere around the neighborhood of 18 million followers and she has her own business and she has lashes, like a ton of different products. But this palette just recently launched on September 18th globally. Now, before I get into the specifics of this palette, I just wanna say to those of you guys that are brand new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, Girl, what you waiting for? If you love beauty reviews, hauls, tutorials, those kinds of videos, please subscribe. I'm a lot of fun, I promise. <laughs> and to all my oldie but goodie subbies, hey girl, it's so nice to see you again. And thank you guys for rocking with me. I'm in the middle of a big move to the East Coast, so you know, uploads may be a little spotty, but I will try to get back into my regular schedule once I am all settled in. Anyway, with that aside, let's go ahead and jump into this palette because I can't wait to just put these colors on my face. Now this palette here, it retails for $65. So girl, it ain't cheap, it ain't cheap. And when you're looking at pictures, you might just be like, uh, I don't know if that's worth $65, but let me just show you what this looks like in the daylight, in the sunlight. It is a bomb.com, girl. I just can't even describe the way that these colors look. They are just so beautiful. And I am huge into purple and the whole vibe of this, the warm shades and the purples are totally my style. Now in this palette, you do get 18 shades. You get a big mirror that you can see here. And taking a look at this palette here, I'm gonna to read to you guys what it says on the box. Now, um, you do get eight buttery mattes, six sublime pearls, three duo chrome toppers, and one daring glitter, and that glitter one is right here. I do wanna give you guys a side note about the glitter shade because I was watching Huda Beauty's Snapchat earlier, and basically she said that the best way to use the glitter is to spray your brush with setting spray, pick up the glitter, and then apply it to your eye wherever you wanna apply it. You can mix it with the toppers to create like a really nice duochrome kind of vibe. Basically, it's a really diverse glitter. You don't need glitter glue to use it. Now, I also wanna show you guys what the swatch looks like on my skin. My goodness, my goodness. <laughs> I wasn't sure about this palette when I purchased it, but let me just say, once I swatched it, you really can tell that the mattes are super buttery, and the six pearly shades are so smooth. Like, literally with your finger, they just glide right onto your skin. No slipping, no lack in pigmentation. All of these colors have wonderful pigmentation. And the glitter, I did test it with setting spray when I did swatch it, and it swatches beautifully. So I can just imagine how well it applies with a brush that is wet with setting spray. So with that being said, um, I believe in the States this palette is at Sephora. They also have it, um, I do know, at Cult Beauty uh, for those of you guys that are in Europe and um, I believe in the UK. So yeah, I mean, let's just get into this. Let's just like put this these colors on my face so you guys can see really what it looks like. Okay, so I have no idea how much fallout this palette will have. So I've got my Laura Mercier Medium Deep Powder and I'm gonna take my Pure uh, Cosmetics Makeup Sponge, dip that in there, and I'm just going to apply this right under here to catch any fallout. I'm also going to prime my eyes with my Smashbox primer. I mean, come on guys. What else is new? What else is new? This is one of my holy grails. I also like the um, Urban Decay primer and caffeine. That's a good one. 
but I'm partial to this one, I do have to say. For the first transition shade, I think I'm gonna dip into Eden right here. It's super pretty. It's really like this buttery, kind of corally color. When I dip in, I do see a lot of kick up, so I'm gonna be tapping my brush to get off the excess. Ooh. Wow. I wasn't really expecting that to apply with so much pigment. Okay, Huda. Huda is not playing around. I mean, look at that shade, guys. It's really beautiful, actually. I normally would not put a shade like this in my crease, but I think this works pretty well. Ooh, now check this out. There's this beautiful purple shade in here called Amethyst. Ugh, I mean, come on, you guys, come on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this down in kind of like a semi-cut crease kind of way. And I'm gonna take a flat brush. This is from uh, Sonia Kashuk. Dip it in there. Oh my God, look how much pigment came off. Okay. So far I ain't mad at it. I would almost even just wear it like this, but you know what? I'm feeling a little bit extra. Yes, I'm feeling extra today. So I really wanna try this topper here. It's called Twilight. And look at this, like, it's got a little bit of a duochrome in it. Mm, that's what I like. So I'm taking a little flat brush and I'm just gonna wet it with some Fix Plus. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this shade. It's Oud. Oued, however you pronounce this. I mean, I love the way this looks. I love that it's bright as hell. The fact that I can get that kind of pigmentation on my skin tone is, uh, it's amazing. So with Oud, like, it's super pigmented. I've got a blending brush here and I'm just kind of gonna swirl it in the outer corner. And then with what's left on my brush, I'm just going to flick it out. And you don't really want a lot of pigment on that brush when you do that, just like what's left. Now I'm going to take a more precise brush. This is the Sephora Pro uh, number 15. I'm gonna dip it in Oud and bring it up to like kind of the middle part and creates kind of a faux crease. So now I'm gonna go ahead and sweep off the rest of that powder under there. I did get some uh, fallout specifically from the topper shade, but that's kind of to be expected because it's more of a like looser pigment. For my liner, I'm gonna use Inglot Gel number 77. And then I'm going in with the Urban Decay's Troublemaker Mascara. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes, do my other eye, and then I'll be right back and I'll tell you guys what my first impressions are of this palette. Okay, so now I'm back and I'm ready to talk to you guys about my thoughts on this palette. First, let's have a moment of silence for this beautiful eye makeup. I mean, it's bomb. Like it amazing it's so amazing <laughs> uh, so basically this is the palette here I mean you guys I love this palette I think that the pigmentation is incredible I don't even think that my camera right now is doing it enough justice I love that it has a nice big clear mirror here so you don't need anything else. You don't need another mirror. You don't need to have your vanity right in front of you. You can just use it. And this palette feels like substantial. You know, it doesn't feel cheap. I mean, there is some cardboard parts, but it's like well put together, like it's gonna last. And what I love is that they actually include this little insert here so you can put this between your palette right here and that way, you know, you won't get any kind of fall out on your mirror or anything like that. So if you keep this little insert, it's really nice. Now, the only thing that I can kind of 
uh, think about right now is that there is a bit of fallout, particularly with the topper colors. Uh, the one that I used right here, this one is called Twilight. That one did have some fallout. However, the best way to solve this is to do your eye makeup prior to your face makeup. And then you just use a makeup wipe and wipe it away. But I would not say that this was excessive at all. I'm also really digging that they have an ample amount of transition colors. What I would consider are these right here. Really, really great transition colors. And they're also really nicely pigmented. I feel like you don't need to dip into them too much to get the kind of color payoff that you want. And also I do notice that there is a bit of kickback um, in the pan when you do pick up the color. I would equate it kind of to like the modern Renaissance palette. It has that same style of like butteriness kickback, but you know, there's a trade-off. If you want the buttery pigmentation, then sometimes you do have to put up with the kickback, but honestly I don't think that it's, you know, like a substantial thing to worry about. Another negative here is the price, but when you consider the quality of the palette, I really do think that you get what you pay for. Also, I freaking love that they included a glitter shade right here. I mean, not a lot of palettes have that where they put in a pressed glitter. And I love that all you need to do is use a little bit of some setting spray and girl, like you're good to go. You don't need to use glitter glue or anything. I probably would suggest using a kind of red base um, or mixing it with another shadow. That way, you know, you won't have to layer on so much to get that like full color, but it swatches like beautifully. So I can imagine that it's gonna perform really, really well. That being said, I really don't feel like there are like any like real like negative points that I can point out besides the price point which is really like up to your personal preference as far as what you're willing to pay for an eyeshadow but if you are willing to pay it I will tell you that it's definitely worth the price and you're gonna get so many different looks out of it because all these colors are so different and there's so many different combinations as well so I really want to know if you guys want any other looks with this palette or you have any other video suggestions let a girl know because I'm planning my content right now for October so I would love your input I always love your guys's input as always I hope that you guys are doing well and I hope that you enjoyed this video don't forget to check out some of these videos that I have up on the screen and if you're not subscribed girl join the family don't wait any longer you don't want to wait <laughs> all right well I love you guys and I will see you in the next video Bye.